Hey everybody and welcome to episode 187 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. We are approaching 200 fast. Buckle up. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at the Password Reset Landing Page Module or PRLP module. Uh, this module is really actually a simple module to get set up and configured, but one I wanted to make sure you guys were know about because it's one of those that I wish I knew about earlier. Um, basically what this module does is it allows you to take that you one-time uh, password reset link and instead of having the user have to reset their passwords within the user edit page, this basically hijacks the password and confirm password fields outside of that and lets them do it on the page that they get redirected to. Um, basically allowing them not to forget to reset their passwords, which sometimes can happen, and I'll show you that once we get into it. And also, I'll probably do a better job of showing you than explaining it since it is kind of, kind of confusing. Uh, one other thing, I guess, before I get started in this module is make sure that you are aware that I'm using the 7.x.10 version of this module. In case they do want to do an update here, uh, make sure that you uh, realize that there might be some small changes to take that into consideration. All right, before we do the download and install of the module, I just want to head, make sure you head over to Code Karate here. Uh, make sure to check out um, all the stuff we got going on, right? We got a ton of stuff, eBooks, cheat sheets. Uh, typically, we post twice a week, so make sure to check out all of our updated posts. You can subscribe to our newsletter, stay updated on all that stuff as well. And also, just let us know if you need any modules reviewed or want us to review a module you might be confused about or curious about. We'd love to hear from you. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the module. So again, we're using the password reset landing page module, and we can go ahead and get that downloaded by clicking one of these two versions. All right, but before I actually jump into turning the module, which we typically do, I want to show you how it normally works. And the reason I want to do that is in case you're new to Drupal or you've forgotten how the password reset typically works, it's always good to see how it works before this module comes into play. So how a user would come to a site is if they didn't know their password, they're gonna click on request a new password. And I'm just using a fresh Drupal install here so there's not too many bells and whistles, but um, they'll be prompted to enter a username or password. So I'm gonna enter my username of bugs. And then further instructions are gonna be sent to my email, which basically gonna contain that one-time login link. So if I hop over here to my email client, I can see this one-time user uh, reset link um, normally, a user would just click on it, but I want to hop over to a different uh, tab here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and then it basically redirects me to this password reset landing page. And once I click login, it lets me log in, which is awesome, right? So now I'm in, I can configure and do whatever I wanted into the site. But what happens is, is people who aren't familiar with Drupal will sometimes not read this message or will not forget to set their new password. So right now their password is set to um, one that they don't know. So if they don't type in a password and confirm password and scroll down and hit save, next time they go to log in, they're not going to know their password. We're going to have to do the whole process again. And that's where the beauty of this PRLP module comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this module now. And then I'll take you through how this works with the module enabled. So we're going to come in here and turn it on. And there is a configuration page, pretty simple configuration page. But when we can look at here, so we go ahead and configure. And all it does is it adds a tab to the account settings um, configuration. But a couple different things in here. One of them is, is you're requiring them to set the password on the user login page, or the user, sorry, excuse me, the password reset page. Um, if you uncheck that, they wouldn't have to enter a password there. They could simply log in. But if you're using this module, probably keep that checked. Uh, this obviously, as you can read from the description here, is the path that it takes them after they log in. So you can use tokens here or set them. You could drop them to a home page. You could drop them to many different pages, whatever you'd want. Um, and then the hidden and count fields, excuse me, count fields hidden text areas. Those, as you can read, are just things that are removed from the page um, that they see. And they're basically just not important things they don't need to configure. So right now we're hiding the signature settings and the picture fields. And then account fields hidden is the mail field as well. So I just leave those by default normal. Um, you can experiment with the different ones there. But for the most part, you don't need to mess with those. So we're going to hit save configuration. And now we're going to retry this one more time. So I'm going to log out here. Let's assume that user again forgot their password. So they're going to request a new password. Again, I'm going to enter my username. And I'm going to get an email, I hope. Click 
course, now I won't. I'm going to try this one more time here. See, even us, sometimes when we're messing around with stuff, it never works quite the way you want it to. Isn't that funny how that works? Try this one more time. So, I want to crest new password. Further instructions have been sent to your email address. There we go. All right, so there's our email we wanted. So we're going to copy this link address here. Again, we're going to paste it over here and watch the page is going to have a couple more fields on it. And there we go. It's got our password and our confirmed password field on it. You can see that these are required because I did require it in the configuration. And then I can simply just enter a password that I want. And then I click log in. And again, it redirects to this edit page, which is what I set in the configuration. You could switch that. I could go to the home page or whatever. But now I do not have to enter a password here. I've just set my password. And I set my password just to a really simple default one, but I can test it and see if it works. So if I come back out here and enter that password I just set, there you go. I'm now logged into the site. So I no longer need to worry about users have, when they come to this page for getting to set their passwords and confirm their passwords. So it's kind of a little handy tool. Again, real simple module to set up. I didn't spend a lot of time on the configuration of the module because honestly, I don't think you need to. Um, I think it's pretty much out of the box, ready to go. Um, if you need a you need a unique use case, go ahead and configure that. And let me know what you did because I'd be interested to see that as well. But anyway, that's it for this module, guys. Um, again, head on over to CodeKarate.com if you're not there already. You know, let me know in the comments what you think about this module. If it was awesome, waste of your time, or whatever. Um, always love to hear it, good and bad. Um, check out our other modules. Um, again, cheat sheets, uh, ebooks. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, we're everywhere. So interact with us. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Until next time, uh, keep coding. Talk to you later.